Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Will Richards. I'm Sarah Tupper. Welcome to another episode of the Chumps for You podcast today, celebrating a day that's happening in four days' time. We are, yes. We are here at Intense Records with John, the owner. Hi Thank up. you for having us today. It's a pleasure. Welcome. You may know John as Shuffle when he's behind the decks, <laughs> but in front of the decks, running the business, it's just OG, the founder, John. The Chelmsford For You podcast with Will and Sarah, an exclusive look into all things Chelmsford. So we're here in one of your two venues in Chelmsford at the moment. Yes. This one in the Meadows. That is right. The other the one on Vardak Road. That is right, under the arches yes. by the train station. Many people might have seen the original one. This is something that's fairly recent. You've yes. been here So we've months? been here since November. It's like a Christmas pop-up, but it's uh, been really successful. So we're, we're sticking around. Mm. And people are enjoying seeing it here, I think. Yeah, definitely. Like, we're meeting people that have never, never heard of us from, like, under the arches. They, not everyone goes up that end of town. So yeah. it's good to be here, meeting new people, new customers. Obviously, you're intense records. It's not just records, but for those that might not know, you do records. Yeah. Everything around music. You do some DJ equipment. You do some audio equipment. You do books. You do <laughs> every sort of bit of memorabilia around that sort of thing as well. But you don't just sell. You uh, also buy as well. Yeah, yeah, we're buying. So secondhand market's really good. So uh, we're we're buying collections like every day at the moment. Oh wow! Like there's so many people coming in selling their selling their collections basically. Obviously, you sell and buy records, but people can come in here specifically to look for certain things, and you can source them. Is that right? Yeah. So we've got like a database of every record available in the world, basically. So. You ask for it, we will look for it. It might be available, it might not. But we'll Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> it is, it is. We love it when someone comes in. Yeah, and something really obscure. Yeah, sometimes we don't know what they're after. <laughs> but generally, we do. Yeah. There's a lot of value in these things, so I take it they can get quite expensive. Yeah, there's like some r real rare bits from like the 60s, 70s doing really well. Even like 80s, like there was a time when there wasn't press they weren't pressing that many records. Oh, right. So like the 90s, for instance, when it went to like CDs. Mm. So if you've got a 90s record, it could be worth more than you think. You never know. I noticed you've got a few CDs by the front door here, which threw me off a little bit because I thought <laughs> they'd be your biggest enemy because uh, they were nearly the killer of the vinyl, which obviously, thankfully, it didn't happen. How has digital affected you? Um, so in the, in like the 2000s, it was, a, it was a big problem, like... In the 90s, if you want to be a DJ, because that's what we were focused on back then, mm. you had to have vinyl. So every Friday, people were coming to get the new releases. But when digital started, you didn't need to have records. So we, lo we, we lost a lot of customers because of that. Right. Speaking, well, going back to the 90s, you were just mentioned, this is something that I didn't realise until today. Intense Records have been around for quite some time now. We have. You're celebrating a big year this year? Yep, so... We set up in 1999. Blimey. So it's our 25th anniversary this year. Are you going to be celebrating? We've already had one, one party, but yeah. we've, got, we've got a few more planned, so nice. watch this space. That means that me and Intense Records are the same age. <laughs> does That's it? crazy. Does it? Yeah. You're lying 25, on 25 <laughs> years. I was born the same year that Intense Records uh, was put into fruition. That's incredible. Well, well done to you, that, mate. That is incredible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, easy. Calm it down. Um, so we talked a little bit about earlier on about Record Store Day, which is happening on the 20th. Yep. Um, just a few days away now. What is that in the, because I appreciate it's worldwide, but obviously specifically in the UK, what does that mean to you guys? So it's a celebration of uh, every record store, record store in the country. Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing it about 15 years now and it, it started off really small then we like two or three people turned up and they were, they were asking us about the special releases because like when we started we didn't know much about it right and every year it's grown and grown and grown until like the year later there was 30 people queued up outside wow it's become quite a thing now hasn't it for intent yeah so literally every wow. year it's got bigger and now last year we had 300 people queuing up outside. Oh my goodness. At eight, at eight o'clock in the morning. I think I remember this, because you had the fencing down the side of the road. Yeah, yeah, we like barry, barry off the road. Yeah, yeah. So last year it was at the viaduct. Yep. This year, where can people find you this celebrating? This year we thought we'd do it at the meadows. Nice. As we've got a nice nice roof if it's raining. Now <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And people can queue. Refreshments are available at local businesses yes, as well. Yes, yes. 
uh, lots of food and drinks outside, and we're going to have a, a band stage outside as well. Oh, in oh. the centre, so outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. so live DJs and PAs out there enter entertaining the crowds. Oh, mate, I'm really looking forward to it. So are you guys, obviously you're putting on this event for the event, if you like, yeah. but you mentioned special releases. So does that mean that there's artists around the world that do special releases for that day? Yeah, exactly. So there's about 500 releases coming out just on that day. Um, What's the hot ticket this year, do you know? Uh, yeah, well, the 1975, been really popular. Right. Uh, Blur, doing a special part life, uh, Zoe Trope picture disc. Okay. If you no. know what that means. Nope. Nope. <laughs> when, it, when it plays, it's like animated. Oh, oh really? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, yeah. So like the, with the light and the, the speed, of, okay, that makes sense. Do you know what he's talking about? I do now that he's mm. explained it, I didn't. Okay, cool. Who else we got? 1975 Blur. Uh, David Bowie, he, he's always got one. Um, uh, Noah Khan. Oh, yeah, yeah, stick he's season. Did, he's got a new one out. Fleetwood Mac. Uh-oh. Doing a rumours picture disc. That's going to be really popular. Well, I can tell you who's number one purchaser <laughs> of that is Stevie Nicks' biggest fan. You, a lot here. of people ask for it and there's not there's not many to go around. So if you want to get it, you're going to have to... So I need to be one of the ones queuing at early. 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, well, they'll start queuing about 4 in the morning. Oh, my goodness. So they're going to have to queue outside of the meadows? Yeah. And then the meadows will open and then they'll have to queue inside yeah, the outside of your gonna, shop? We're going to walk them through the meadows. Yeah. And then have another queue outside. At gunpoint. <laughs> Keep them in line. You'll oh, be there. They're, they're, I they're, will be. They're very organised. They'll be fine. Have a chat at the Meadows. We'll come in the back door. Yeah, I'm very, here. very excited for that. Looking forward. One to year it. we had someone queue up overnight. Did you really? What for one of the special releases? To get an ABBA picture disc. I mean, I'm a big fan of ABBA, so I probably would have done that myself. <laughs> Are you? I love ABBA. Who doesn't I love ABBA? No, their songs are catchy. I'll give you that, but ABBA's not really my cup of tea. Mm. Not my, it's not my special, specialist subject, that. But I did notice that you have got S Club 7 over here, so that's ideal. Yeah, well, I thought, I thought that might be for you, that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. He's so already that, got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't need it twice, mate. So that is the 20th of April, 20th of this month, yep. Yep. just four days away from today. Yeah. Um, is there anything special you want to add to this? Well, the Viaduct Road Shop will be open. We've got uh, DJs in there as well. Okay. But all the special records will be here. So don't don't queue up at the viaducts. <laughs> Everything's going to be sold come, out of this come, yeah. yeah, come to the meadows. Okay, if you don't know where we are, we're inside the meadows, directly opposite Millie's Cookies on the corner. Yeah. You can't miss this. Um, so pop in and uh, any requests, come and ask for them. I, I don't mean musical requests. I mean <laughs> anything to order in and you can source it. Well, you've had some special We've just had a delivery delivered, today that I opened just before you arrived. I love this. So we've got a Cooler Shaker picture disc. Say again? Cooler Shaker. Cooler Shaker picture disc. Oh, I love that print. I said I'm going to get it and just put that on my wall. What is, I mean, look, this is new to me. Who's Cooler Shaker? Famous <laughs> band. Well, OK, not to me. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll have to have a listen afterwards, um, which is very, very right, good. You might know this one. Noel Gallagher. That was playing when we came in, wasn't it? It was. Mm. High Flying Birds. Yeah, limited, well edition, done, well. limited edition 7 inch. Mm. Uh, this one, Mr Bongo, a famous Japanese DJ with a 7 inch. Seven inch box set. There we I'm go. loving the artwork of so all these. So these are things. available it, now, maybe. No, on the day. I'm not <laughs> oh, allowed on to. On the day, these when, are Once the you day. leave, I've got to take them off the shelf. Oh, okay. So it's a little it's sneak they're peek just a prop of what for the you day. can get then. Okay. I see. Grab it and run. Oh, I'm going to have to get my Fleetwood Mac and that one now. And that one as well? Yeah. That's going to be expensive. You've got no, an expensive no. day ahead of you. Sorry, Lee. So you've got loads of stuff going on for both shops on Record Store Day. Yeah. Speaking of both shops. You obviously have the original shop on Viaduct Road. Yeah. You've also got this one now. Are you going to keep both shops? Well, that has been a topic of discussion. <laughs> uh, we opened there in 2003, so we've been there a long time. Mm. Uh, yeah. Actually, my, my dad uh, helps uh, build it, so it's got a bit of sentimental value. Yeah. And it, it was the original dance music shop, which then developed into all genres. But uh, recently we brought... Most of most of the stock over here, but the dance music has stayed at the viaduct. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you want loud music, that's where to go. Big bass spins <laughs> and some uh, drum and bass music you should go to the viaducts. Mm. When pretty much everything else is here. So is that somewhat confirmation that it's going to stay on, open in some capacity? I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep them both going. Mm. Well, I hope you do. So make sure you come and support both. Yeah, is what we're definitely. saying. Well, thankfully, yeah. drum and bass has taken a huge peak again, hasn't it? It's yeah, it massive has. at the moment. It thanks has. to all the. Like you put the radio on, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Chase and Status have just taken another another dive at it. I don't know how they've managed to do it, but they've just pulled it out of the bag once again. Still here. It's so looking fantastic. They actually played for me at the cave for mm. our 10th birthday. Oh, my goodness. 
But one other thing that I um, just wanted to ask you about was alongside the shops and the events that you do, uh, you do record fairs as well, don't yep, you? Talk yep, us through what so, they are. We've been doing it for about 10 years now, uh, a monthly record fair. Uh, it used to be at the Owl House, which was our, our, our neighbours yep. by the viaducts. But uh, we've since moved to Chelmsford Social Club. It's a, it's a which bigger is hall. Just behind Tesco's. Behind isn't Tesco's, it? Yeah. in between Tesco's and Riverside. Oh. Yeah. Much bigger hall, so we have like DJs up on stage. There's a bar there. Had my 18th there. Really? Yeah. Many Social moons club. ago, just no. after it was built. Not that long ago. <laughs> but it's a great venue. So the setup of the day, you've got. Yeah, we have like 20 different sellers. Uh, all with different collections, so they're really experienced, they know their stuff. Oh, so it's not just in tents, it's lots of people. Yeah, that's oh, right. Nice. We have DJs up on stage, there's a licensed bar. So uh, come down. Day out, by the sounds come of it. Come down, have a dig. Yeah. Come down and support some lots of local acts as well as uh, a local business, uh, which are two venues. Well, that's right. Be three, because you'll be in the social club bar as well. <laughs> exactly. And uh, on the day they come to this shop, then they might like go to the fair, then into the other shop. So. Yeah. Like a tour of town. It is. City. Oh, goodness, what have I done? <laughs> I've started it now, haven't I? OK, fantastic. Couple of things to find you online. What's the website? Uh, IntenseRecords.com. And the socials? Uh, at Intense Records. Makes sense. On, really. ev on everything. Glad yeah. you got that one. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Is there anything I else? I was there like early. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you knew the one. <laughs> 25 Before. years ago. It's hard to get a name now, isn't it? You can't get it now. Blimey. Um, but that is pretty much everything, I think, isn't it? I think we covered most bases. So pop in, check the place out, and don't forget 20th In Here Record Day. 8am. Uh, store day. 8am. Or 4am. Or 4 a.m. if you can fancy hearing <laughs> it. If you're keen. Awesome. Okay, well, if thank you so much. If you want so that flute with Matt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah, you're going to have to get Which down I in. Do. First thing. I actually want to see you get that. You need to frame it, though. Don't ever take it out of its packaging. Never. That's what you've got to do, right? Keep hold of it and keep it sealed. Well, you can play it once. Oh, you can do it once? <laughs> but what if you play it with cellophane? Anyway, it's a conversation for another day. Right, I've been Will Richards. I've been Sarah Tupper. I'm John, Intense Records. We'll see you very soon. The Chelsea For You podcast with Will and Sarah. Get involved, like, comment and share.